Hey everybody, um, so we are going to look at a couple of examples in the uh, online resource, sorry I'm moving my mic here, in the online resource that we use um, regarding um, some of these basic beginning slope questions. So, um, so I got a couple pulled up. I got a little four question assignment here that I threw together just for the sake of making this video. So let's just take a look at these, all right? So it says finding slope from a graph, all right? Find the slope of the line graph below. Well, so the first thing we should notice, first of all, is that we've got this line that as it's going from left to right, it is going down. Okay, and we always look at it going this way. And so it's kind of like, a, you know, a vertical line test. If you could if you could make a line going across this way, and I apologize, I can't do that right now. And if you pulled it down, as it goes down, it goes to the right. So let's, let's, uh, let's keep that in mind as we find our number. And so now when I look at this, I'm going from this point all the way over to this point. So what we want to check is we want to see if we drew in a triangle here, right? And we were talking about rise over run. From this point to this point, it goes one, two, three units. And it goes three units down, right? So I would click on this because it's going to be that. And now I go negative three. And I'm using negative because it's going down three. And then from this same point, and it's always, it's the rise over run is always how much does it go up or down versus how much does it go over to the right? That's the way I like to describe it all the time. And it goes over to the right one, two spaces. So my slope, if I did this right, should be negative three over two or negative three halves. So let's see what Alex says. All right, check. Oh, excellent. Good work. Let's go on to the next one. All right, next. Find the slope of the line graph below. All right, as we go from left to right, this goes up. So we're going to have a positive slope. We're going to put in our fraction there. And then so start by, by doing your rise. Your rise is always your numerator. Your run is your denominator. So my rise is how much does it go up or down. In this case, we know it's going up. So it's going up one two, three, and you stop when you're level with the other point, and I'm level with the other point. So it's going up three, so I'm gonna put it in three, and then over its run, the run is, if you think about it, you run you know, horizontally, not vertically, so you go horizontally till you get to the other point. So one, two, three, four. And something I've noticed with some people is sometimes they'll start counting at the point. You don't start counting until you've actually passed one. So you would this would be zero. So you go one, two, all right? So you gotta you gotta make sure you're not making silly little mistakes like that. All right, Alex likes that one. Good. We like that. Let's look at this one right here. Oh, what's going on here? Owners of a recreation area are adding water to a pond. The graph shows the amount of water in liters versus the amount of time that water is added in hours. All right, so I'm looking at, I wanna pick two points where I can do my rise over my run. Well, this is a good point right here. And then there's another point, if I just go over one and I go up, it looks like it crosses over the 400 right there. And it looks like if you go over another one, it goes up another three. So it looks like it's going up three and over one. It looks like, so it would, I'd be really tempted to say, oh, my slope is three over one. But think about it for a second. Every one it's going up is not one, it's a hundred. You have to look at the scale. So this goes up 100, 200, 300. So my slope would actually be 300 over one. And so we're gonna look at the questions and answer that. All right, so it says, how much does the amount of water increase for each hour that the water is added? Well, we just kind of figured that out. It looks like when it goes from zero to one, it goes up from 100 to 400. So it's going up 300 liters, and the slope of the line is 300 over one. Remember, we talked about that. So if I didn't understand fractions, I would write this, okay? But I do understand fractions, and what I understand about fractions is that anything over one is itself. 
So let's just get rid of that. Slope of the line is 300. Is it going to be positive or negative? Well, it's going from left to right. It's going up. So it's positive. And then let's see what our last problem here is. Okay, after crossing a bridge, Pablo drives at a constant speed. The graph shows the distance versus the time since he crossed the bridge. All right, so at time zero, he hasn't gone anywhere. After one hour, he's gone 50 miles. Two hours, he's gone 100. Three hours, he's gone 150. I'm just looking this, and this is a nice little relationship. So when they're asking you about your slope, it's going to be rise over run. Well, it's not one for your rise divided by one for your run. It's, you have to look at how it's scaled. Each block or unit is worth 50 going up. So it's going to be 50 over, and then my unit scale down here is 1. So it's 50 over 1. So my slope is going to be 50 divided by 1, which is 50. How much does the distance increase for each hour? Well, we established that right away. We said he's going 50 miles every hour. And then the slope of the line is 50. So you should be noticing on some of these problems that, um, that you know, a lot of times your unit rate, slope, they're all kind of the same thing. All right. And then we click that, and then we see how we did. Oh, we knocked that out of the park. So we'll submit our assignment. And... Uh, I just want to say thanks for uh, joining me while I went through this.